welcome back to my channel so today I am actually going to be reviewing a product that is specifically for fine natural hair so if you're a fine natural like myself um, I've seen this brand multiple times um, from what I see it is black owned and I just never I don't know why I just never thought to pick up any of the products now they have shampoo conditioners a leave-in I don't think I saw a styler or anything like that but I, I had a gift card from Target and I was like what should I use this for so um, I was looking for different things and this was what I ended up purchasing um, and that is Jamaican black castor oil and aloe edge gel from hair credible catering to fine and thin hair this edge control is formulated with Jamaican black castor oil and aloe to keep your edges tame and moisturized while stimulating growth so that is a good benefit because if you're a person like I don't I don't go crazy with edges all the time but if you're a person who might like to do edges this is probably a one-win situation because it will has that good moisture for you um non flaking non-alcohol maximum hold so this is what it looks like I will say the name is very unique I kept on saying that every time I would see this brand and I do follow them on social media but I don't know I just never picked up their stuff so we're gonna see what I really want to see I'm not going out or anything but I really want to see as the day day progresses if my edges stay late or they start sweating up because we all know we've tried I've only tried one edge control that has actually laid my kept my edges slayed but it's not something that you should use all the time because I feel like it's not protective for us natural and that's the I think it's called the Mo, Mo Gorilla something like that so I don't use that often and when I did use it I was using it when I had braids so and I have a bunch of edge controls I think we all do because we think they were gonna work so this is what it looks like it's pretty hard and solid it smells good actually so Oh, I actually need my mirror because I'm blind as a bat. I'm trying to, okay. So. so I do have an edge brush, but I always feel like I'm always messing up my edges when I go in with it. So I normally just do it with my, with my nails, my hands, I mean. So think about this puff. Like, because my hair, as my hair gets longer, it doesn't, like, you know, guys know, like, my hair is never in a puff. It's more like my hair is falling, like, down so like this is what my hair does so I'm just gonna push my hair up a little bit and then just go ahead and apply it so I got definitely a thick consistency oh I did a little swoop there I feel like certain depending on the gel like with the Mo mocha gorilla gel it's um more of like a liquidy consistency I like that this is a has a thicker consistency because it's not falling out of your hand it's just it's like you just get it grab it and use it so I do like that about that and my edges aren't flaking so that's a win-win because I have not washed my hair yet so that's also good that it's not flaking let me just do this with that to get some more to get this part because my edges are so much thicker I feel like when it comes to like what do you call them I don't have sideburns but it feels like I do okay so and I think this would be great too because if I want to do edge controls like I talked about I'm still like my it's not that my edges are non-existent but there are areas where like my edges are growing back so it's not as full like right here you guys never notice it but I notice it like sometimes when all my hair is together you won't notice it but if you if it was separated you notice the difference so that's why you know I like my just to not look like that like it's like that one spot right here where it's growing back but it's not okay I put a little bit too much but this is why we put around with the gel and kind of I'm doing the swoops in my hands I can never do sometimes the swoops come in good sometimes they don't so yeah I need to okay I need a little 
bit more. Like I said, I'm not really big on doing edges, but every once in a while, I'm going to look cute and I do my edges. So. See, like right here, my edges has grown here so much that I have to slip that whole, this whole section. I don't know if you guys can see that, but struggle city. like 15 minutes or so so let's see we're gonna see like i said i most likely will maybe come back the next day and see tell you guys or midday close to the end of the day to see if my hair sweated out because it's hot okay so this one my hair is looking like i can't see myself so i need to just pull up my camera real quick it feels like it's not fully dry like I should let it dry a little longer. This is what it's looking like right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. I feel, I feel like some parts are still wet, so that's why I don't want to disturb it. So I think I'm going to tie it again just to leave it a little longer. But yeah, this is what my edges are looking like. I don't see any flakes, which is still good. And yeah.